Welcome to California Live. We have a magical morning for you here. And Danny, I think it's safe to, safe to say that we're going to see some things that are going to make you go, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the man behind the magic, Justin Wilman, he has a breakaway hit on Netflix. It's called Magic for Humans. Have you ever had to block anybody online? Yes. yes. You ever wish you could block someone in real life? For sure. <laughs> That's what this is for. I'll show you. Watch. Block. Right? Sometimes though blocking them isn't enough. If the person's super annoying, you have to delete them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what the? F you took a part out of it. <laughs> Magical. <laughs> wow, you're good. Real people. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Real magic. No, no camera tricks. <laughs> this is magic for humans. <laughs> All right, I don't know what just happened because Justin was supposed to be here. Maybe he'll just, I don't know, magically appear. Oh, 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 oh hey. Hi. 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 Hello. Hi. You, you said magically appear and I was here. And I was tying here? my shoes. Well, 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 oh, yeah. we, we, we thought yeah. we didn't see you. Well, how's it right. going, everybody? How's it going for you? Welcome to the show. Ta-da. Ta-da. I've been here all morning. You've been here all morning? Yeah, I've been just eating, eating donuts and croissants and... <laughs> Well, that's what we do I here at California Live. Yeah. You know, the hospitality. Magic. Thank well, you for we having love me. magic. Thank you for coming. We yeah. love magic here. And uh, can we talk a little bit about magic for humans? Talk about it, please. Second yeah. season. Yeah. Ask um, me anything. It's... Except how anything works. Well, that was my main question. I wanted to know how you do those tricks because I've been watching them and it's just, it's unbelievable. Sometimes I'm like, what is happening here? Where, where did it go? <laughs> Are you the type of person who gets upset and angry at magic well, or just upset. very hot and bothered very confused. hot and bothered confused. yes confused, confused. like throwing your remote at the scene yeah. like am i on earth or yeah. need to transport me to space i love yeah. i don't know I, that's what i love about magic is that everyone loves it but everyone kind of shows their love for magic in different ways some yes. people are just like yes more you know i, I want to believe in the wonder and some people just want to fight me yeah. Well, I always want more, but I think I'm the type of person that's always like, okay, where where did this, where, how did you do this? Like, I just want to like keep how, asking how the questions. How did he just appear from yeah, right exactly. there? But how did you get started? Were you yeah. a kid and you were just like, I love this? I was a kid. I, it wasn't <laughs> magic at first. I was a kid. I was trying to impress some girls riding my, well, by riding my bike with rollerblades on. I love it. Okay. 12 years old. I was like, what's, what's not cool about that? Well, I fell off. I broke both arms. Bone was sticking out. It was gross. Doctor recommended I learn magic as physical therapy. That's how oh. I became a magician. Card tricks to get my dexterity back. Okay, oh, wow. so then how did the comedy come into play? Because you have the best timing for your skits. I mean, oh. it's like you're you're so funny. Well, when That's you're a 12-year-old magician, you get made fun of a lot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, or a 13-year-old magician or a 30-year-old magician. When you're a magician, people like to poke fun sometimes. Okay. And I think if you don't have a little healthy sense of humor and a little tongue-in-cheek, vibe then you know you're an easy target so okay. i kind of like making it fun and you're yeah. a dad i'm a new dad a new dad congratulations, oh, congratulations. by congratulations. the way you're tell you turns one, -year one on thursday oh my Happy gosh birthday. He's, he's all it over the better. new season it yeah. gets better oh yeah. so cute so it gets cute. better i'm do a three I, I a three-year-old so you're uh, in the three maybe i was about to take a nap down there on the floor but do you do magic with him i do so in the listen the show magic humans is about it's about people it's about what it means to be human and every season i explore kind of the stuff that's going on my life so there's a whole thread about parenthood and oh, what yeah. that means and also exploring my relationship with my parents yeah. I think it's a sh you know we I wanted to explore the idea of public breast pumping. oh I saw oh, that. that male lactation yeah, yeah. Is well, that, is my that wife what, didn't want anything to do with it so I had to do it do myself it which so made it weird but uh, is, you th is, it, is that what you think people need like to feel that connection not male lactation, male lactation. but that is what to feel need. like to feel the connection back with magic so it's not you know it's not this vaguest thing that's inaccessible yeah. Like, yeah magic I think is a disarming art form it mm -hmm. kind of has people put their guard down a little bit and I think that's a a good like icebreaker to talk about real life stuff. Yeah. I don't want to like bump people out. Magic right. makes you feel good. I want the show to make people feel good. You can watch it with your grandparents or your kids. It's kind of a, you know, just a fun little all inclusive show. I could try something right now. Yeah, yeah let's you do should. We have our phones. You have your phones. See, okay. that's the thing. We exp I explore our relationship with our phones <laughs> in the show. I'm going to document this magic trick. Just because these cameras trick. are not enough, apparently. <laughs> exactly. We have which, phones. Which model is this? This is. Uh, Okay, six. I think it's a six. Six success. A success. Yeah, congrats, it's the baby one. That's in your success. Thank you. Uh, see, I <laughs> Thank you, dad joke. I was supposed to say, I can go, say yeah. these dad jokes. <laughs> exactly. Can I take it out of the case? You sure it's an can. otter box. That's probably why you've had this phone so long. Look at this. It's in great condition. Thank you. It's a good yeah. case. I no, you're, you'll be okay. my backup should this not go Got well. Got it. Okay. I'm going to put right. your phone on airplane mode. We're going to play a little game called Where's Your Phone? Okay. 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 I, brought, um, I brought an envelope for this. Okay. I'm going to put your phone inside this envelope. 
All right. Gonna seal it up. So. Oh wait. Oh yeah. There, there you go. go. <laughs> okay. Modern day envelopes. Yeah. Where's your phone? It's apparently there. It, it still is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's gonna get tougher. All I right. have another envelope, and I have another phone. Now this is a fake phone. So this. This is a mall kiosk replica. They make these so you can wow, feel what it feels like, but they know you won't steal it. So yeah. I stole it because it's part of this game <laughs> that's going to help confuse you. Now, this game is not technically magic. It's kind of a game of luck. But what I love about magic is that it's kind of like psychology in that you get to study how people react in different situations. So I'm putting you in a unique situation right now. Where's your phone, left or right? Oh, I'm just going to get it. Over here. I'm, oh, I'm going to guess because I... Yeah. Oh, here, okay, how about this? I stole four more fake phones already in an envelope. So let's just make it tougher here. You've got eagle eyes to me. I know. Too, just watching I'm like every so move. focused right now. <laughs> Did you number them one through six using sure. this marker? Woo, it's Ooh. good. One, two, three, four, <laughs> oh, five, six. Uh, would you say you're a lucky person? Absolutely. Really? Yeah. What was the last lucky thing that happened to you? Um, you came here today. I think that's luck. <gasps> Aww. Good answer. Yeah. Okay, let's lay these out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Excellent handwriting. I have a luck detector, actually. It is a, a luck die. detector. Yeah, a luck detector. See, it's a monopoly die. One, oh, two, okay. three, four, five, six. You just roll it. Whatever number you roll, okay. I'll el eliminate that number envelope. Okay. okay. But there then, we go. but wait, wait. We keep rolling and eliminating until there's one envelope left. Okay. And what's fun is if the last envelope has your phone. Okay. That will be the first, okay, so first time it's ever happened. Can we start happened. with this so, one? Should I re-roll? No, it's good. What number is it? Four. Number four. Let's start with it. Number four. <gasps> oh, I don't oh like my this. God. I can't even. I can't watch. Okay. Five. <laughs> this is fun. This is so much fun. Isn't this fun? Okay. This is very, this is not wait, your phone. Getting, Relax. Oh, wait. What do we got? One. One. <laughs> now, this is, it's also loud. It's kind of, it's a little violent, but this is a very oh, cathartic gosh. thing for me. Three. Three. Danny, was that your personal phone or your work phone? <laughs> Sorry, that, NBC. That one sounded different. <laughs> Did you say that? Okay, we're left with a two and a six. Roll till we get a two or a six. Okay. Two or a six. All right. Um. I'm excited. <laughs> Come on, Danny. There you go. Oh, Six. Six. Uh, you do that one. You do uh, that one. Go for it. Just go for it. Oh! Oh! You feel good, right? It's that good. actually did feel good. It does. It's good. something. Just that felt good. Do you want to smash this one, too, and just not make it magic at all? No. How about, how about, listen. I've, before we open number two, funny story. Okay. Funny story. So, I'm not actually a magician. Oh, gosh. <laughs> this is a social experiment, right, for the oh, live no. viewers of California here. Uh, yeah. So about our own addiction to our phone, we're learning. Thank you uh -huh. for being uh, an avatar that we can live vicariously through. Because You're this welcome. is very bothering to me, right? <laughs> if your phone's in there, great. But if it's not in there, great segment. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So take envelope, take envelope two, rip open the top, reach in. <sighs> is it yours? Show it to him. This is my phone. I call that Game of Phones, people. We have successfully won Game of Phones. See, I'm confused. I'm sitting here very confused. Yeah. What would you call that expression? That's not confused. That's more like... <laughs> We're not letting you leave. You're staying here. Okay. We I'm need captive. to do something. We need, we need we... to figure this out. Yeah. We okay. You're going to stick around, 11, show you? some more magic. I did. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> and right, then I'll coming up right now, Kim See? is with Megan Fox, Brian Austin Green, and other Hollywood stars aligning in a fight to save the Amazon.